All right, so today I'm going to show you how to add an RSSI line out of an X4R receiver from a FreeSky. <clears throat> it's pretty simple, actually. Um, FreeSky already has a pad on the back side of the circuit board, so uh, I'm going to show you how to access that. Uh, slide off the, the plastic heat shrink that's on there, it keeps the cardboard together, and just pull off the old cardboard cover. It's a bit of folded in there. But it comes out. Alright. Now it'd be easier if it was on this side of the board, <laughs> but it's not. Um, you have to pull the cardboard off carefully. There is a little bit of double sided foam tape. Just carefully pull that off. Put that aside for now. Uh, focus, focus. Well, anyway, there's a small pad right in the corner. And this is with focus. Yeah, you can probably see it there. Uh, that's the RSSI line signal coming out. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to solder a small wire to that and to one of the ground pins, which will be the center four uh, pins on here. And you have these center four are all ground. So we're just going to add a little lead right to one of those. And that will do. All right. First thing, grab a piece of uh, servo wire. And we're going to strip it out to its, uh, we don't need the, the, the positive line, we just need the ground and the signal line. <coughs> and we're going to strip just a little bit back on each of these. Just enough to tin them. And Gonna add a little solder to each one. Alright, that's one. And this one, similar. Alright. Now as you can probably see I have maybe I don't know if this would focus. There. Maybe a little too much sticking out, so we're just going to trim that back. Maybe it's about two millimeters total. Yeah, really hard to focus. Yeah, just a little bit there. Alright, now, let me see if we can zoom in a little bit on this. Now, if you look really, really close, you will see right by one of these antennas leads right there. There's a little copper pad. That's the RSS eye line coming out of the free sky. What we're gonna do is attach this to that carefully. Alright. So we're just gonna add a little solder on there to tin it. Just like that. Grab our wire, and you want to arrange it in a way that we're going to come out like this. So we want to just ever so slightly connect the two. Make sure it's on there, and we're good. That takes care of <coughs> the signal line. Now for the ground. Uh, not all applications will need this, uh, just depends on what your flight controller or if your OSD, if it needs a ground for it. Uh, but we're going to attach it anyway. And like I said, these four center servo pins, two on this side, two on the back side, are grounds. So we're just going to tin one up. Hard to do this and make it seen. Alright, so we're tinned. We're just going to take the wire, attach it to there, and that's it for that. Now what I like to do is I'll take this, route it right over 
the terminal plug on the side and just drop a dot of hot glue underneath the wire to secure it. <clears throat> then just take your cover carefully put it back on you're gonna have to work out getting the fold back in there somehow but it goes back together pretty easy all right all folded take the little piece of heat shrink that was on there keep the cardboard together if you can still reuse it, great. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. If not, a little piece of clear heat shrink will work. And now, you have your RSSI signal line out. In a, another how-to, I'll show uh, what we do with this, depending on uh, if you're using a flight controller or OSD.